Morning. Morning. Although it's not morning at all, it's the afternoon. We're it's we slept in again. It's the morning in England. We want to show you a tour of this apartment because it's so freaking cool. So I'm going to pass the camera to Alex and I'll be your tour guide. <laughs> so. Okay, so. This is the living room. <laughs> and this is the bedroom. What else? Oh, bathroom. Oh. Get a good look? All right, bye. Are you quite done? Yeah. Okay, take two. Turn them outside, it's kind of cool because we're living with the locals. So this is like an apartment we found on Airbnb. I'll leave a link below if you want to visit it. Very um, hot. Oh my God, you literally when you open the door, it's like the same feeling you get when you open the oven door when you're cooking food. Yeah. No exaggeration. We've got, there was, the host is the loveliest host I've, I think we've ever had and we've stayed at a lot of Airbnb places. She was so sweet, so lovely, so accommodating and she get, even gave us things like new toothbrushes and like, oh it's just and like toothpaste, a shower gel, the shampoo, I mean a lot of places have that but she was just so a So now we're leaving, it's a lot later than we expected because of doing videos and stuff, um, but it's like early afternoon, we're gonna get food and then have a nice day out in Hanoi, so let's go. Cornish pasty. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of the we've noticed in Hanoi, there's so many people sitting on the streets just with friends, having a drink, eating food, like just on these little stools outside shops. So it feels very like, I don't know, very Vietnamese. I'm sure you're getting that. Okay. Also, side note, I walked out the house in the slippers that came with the house because I wasn't paying any attention and they were some cuts on my feet, by the way, that I got from the bed. So we're probably gonna have to go back because I can't walk around all day in slippers. I like the saying, why do you have to go back? It doesn't matter. But... They're comfy. Okay, but like, I can't. Look, they're literally See, slippers. If the shoe fits. Oh, look at Alex sat on this little stool. It's quite nice. Yeah. There's samosas and spring rolls. <laughs> Oh, che nice. means um, oh, okay. Che means vegetarian. Food has arrived. What does it taste like? I like a hamburger. Yeah. Mmm. Nice bread. Really good. Alex is going back for more. You're getting two spring rolls. Yeah. And a samosa. Yep. Oh my god. That was good. What have you ordered? None for you. Mm. Every time I eat, I feel like I'm blown away. You know? Like, it gets better and better. <laughs> Museum. That's the name, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Got our 
What are you guys? It's only a pound. I'm right. really excited because I'm yeah. a bit of a feminist, so I'm really excited to learn about women's history in Vietnam. The Dunko ritual represents the shift in a woman's life from unwedded girl into married woman. During the ritual, the bride's long hair is gathered into a bun piled high on the top of her head. Welcome to the Women's Fashion Gallery. The exhibition showcases traditional costumes from Vietnam's various ethnic groups, including decorative techniques, accessories, and beautifying rituals. It was really good, I loved it. I yeah. found there was three floors, I found the floor about um, the American War the most interesting because the Vietnamese War was something that we were basically never taught in school because obviously we're from the UK so they focused on um, the World Wars so it's really interesting to hear, also really sad. Especially yeah. the bit where they had a diary from a woman and she was describing the pain and meeting her fiance again and it was just really sad. Well, we've been to a lot of these countries and we haven't really learned much about yeah. the history or the culture. Yeah, so it's nice to learn about the history and there was yeah. um, all about marriage and about childbirth and about the fashion and it was just, mm. it was really cool, really, really cool. But now we're going to go shopping to get some things for our family because okay. we want to bring them back some presents because there's so many cool things like this bag that I got the other day and I'm, also it's my mum's birthday so we need to get her a birthday present. Right, so... It's been a very long time since we vlogged, because what happened, Alex? <coughs> Maddie had a, a sort of anxiety attack mm. in the middle of Hanoi, in the old quarter. I had a terrible panic attack, basically, in the middle of Hanoi, because we were in, I think the last clip was when I was, we were in the old quarter, and it was, I said, oh, I hate it here. I've Thanks never, so. I don't know what came over me, but it was just so busy. I don't like crowded places and people everywhere. It really stresses me out. And so you were saying all the men were staring at you? All the men were so staring well. at me and it was making me feel really uncomfortable and we were going down these streets and it was just street after street and when you cross the road, cars and uh, motorbikes especially would just drive into you and I was nearly run over at one point and someone this run- on like pedestrian Yeah, crossing. pedestrian zebra crossings, you wait for them to stop and they just go, they literally just go into you but even though you're walking across the road and it's a zebra crossing and I have no idea what why and someone trod on my foot and then a guy laughed at me and I, I don't know, I freaked out and I, yeah, I had a panic attack and I couldn't breathe and it was horrible, it lasted ages and I couldn't calm down because we had to get out and I, we couldn't get out because we were in the middle of it and it's quite a big area and I had tried to go down an alleyway but then we were still like in it all, like, it was so much noise and we eventually like walked back to like the lake and just sat there for ages but yeah it was not enjoyable um and i feel sincerely sorry for those of you who deal with panic attacks on a regular basis and have like anxiety disorders because oh it's hell and i i know that this isn't like a regular thing for me this is like caused by something it's been caused by my like my stress levels are a bit higher at the minute and um i've not been sleeping well because of the construction yeah, I and Messed up. Yeah, everything's been a lot the last few weeks because we've been moving around so much and I know why that happened. It was just a lot of things built up to one one it's not something I like experience regularly, but oh my god, those people who do, I feel very bad for you. So yeah, it was not enjoyable. Um and I hope I don't ever get that again. I guess I've just gotta to learn to never go to places like that because I lost sensation as well in my face and my hands, which was really weird and horrible. I sometimes get that when I'm flying, because I hate flying. I get it in my hands, where my hands go pins and needle-y, and when I'm stressed, and my whole, I swear, my whole body was soaking wet, wasn't it? It was horrible. Like, my yeah. Alex, like, put his hand on my back, and he was like, oh my god, you're wet, and my trousers went really, a little short. I was trying really... to, like, rub your back to comfort you, and it's just, like, wet. <laughs> <laughs> and my trousers, my shorts were stiff because they like had, oh it was just not very nice. I don't know, I'm like laughing about it now, but like it was horrible. We were gonna go to a puppet show, but I didn't wanna go because I thought there'd be loads of people around. 
so I just couldn't handle the thoughts of that and also we were gonna go to Ninbin tomorrow but I just I'm I what I feel like I need to recuperate and relax and so often when you go places you feel like you have to do everything that everybody else wants to do uh, sorry everything else everybody tells you you should do like when you go somewhere because you've only got that space of time to do everything and you've got to see all the sights but sometimes what that does is it takes away the enjoyment when you should just do what you want to do and what I want to do tomorrow is just wander around, enjoy the city, do a bit of shopping for my family and have a nice relaxing day, maybe go to the lake. Like I don't want to be going three hours on a bus there and back to Nimbin and like it's just not going to be, no. it's not something that I want to do. So not the day before a 20 hour And flight. the day before a flight and I don't want to feel anxious and tired the day before a flight if I've just had a panic attack. I don't know if you're more likely to have a panic attack if you've just had one. So that was worrying me. I was thinking, what if I get a panic attack in the airport or on the flight? I hope and pray to God I never have one ever again in my life because that was horrendous. I think it's, oh, your body is very smart. My body's telling me I need to chill out. So anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully it will be relaxing. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow will be. Yeah, and I think we're going to go and get some in snacks. In the morning. Some comforting snacks. Yeah, Maddie's going to pop to the shop. And I'm going to watch Love Island reunion because I'm behind and I didn't uh, see it. <laughs> See you in the next vlog. Bye.